Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going over a video that we took at Haunches Sweet 16 Gallery at the Corey Helford Gallery. We're going over all the pieces that from the gallery that we can, that we can mm -hmm. and point out some of our favorites and just a little bit of back information on all of them. Hunch gave us these little things for when we came in. It's so special. Yeah, mine is on my bag. I have it on my Gucci bag. Just kidding, it's not a Gucci bag. It's like Gucci, but... <laughs> I wanted to take mine out, but I wanted to show the video like exactly like what what it was before I opened mine. This is the, the pin that Unch gave the guest whenever they came to visit the gallery. I believe there's 50 that Unch made for guests and then 50 purchased. I really wish we spent more time there to like focus on recording each individual piece because there's so much to see in that gallery. Mm -hmm. Literally, everyone has taken something that Unch has done in the past and put it into the art. I really like this first painting because of the bunny. Like, I'm a big fan of rabbits. <laughs> it's, it's following the theme of Sweet 16, which is basically what all of them are going to follow. All of them. And while we're like going through the tour, we had Unch with us. And Unch was talking about, glo mentioned Gloomy Bear because... Gloomy Bear. Yeah, like the little Gloomy Bear plus you have the claws. But that's the, the piece right there to the right. Eric Joyner is uh, is an artist, and his like most of his paintings actually just feature robots and donuts. It literally says robots and donuts on his Instagram. I really love her style of painting. Like she has another painting in the, the gallery. That we'll yeah, have. it's very like Alien Lisa Frank. That's how I think about it. Anj had mentioned that there's actually paper cuts on the girls from the the candy paper. The dots, the edible dots. I don't know how they made this ice cream so realistic, but none of that is like actual real food, so, but it's so pretty. Ruth Parker, obviously it's a, a pretzel shape, and if you looked into it, there's a lot of references into Anche's art. And this Snow White one, it's, it's shaped like a pretzel, but it's also shaped like the face that was on the apple in Snow White. Like the poison apple, there was a shape. That's a shape. Chrissy Baum actually did this portrait of Paris Hilton. And originally it did not have a face mask. She kind of just added that because of the pandemic. There's like a lot of things to it. A bunch of like crystals, pearls, and there's also a pretzel on her forehead. That's for Anna. Punch. These were actually my favorite uh, pieces from by Jonathan Stein. Like, uh, what's it called? It looks like Judith Liebert's pieces, but they are made of Swarovski crystals also, as well as aluminum. So pretty. I love Judith Liebert's stuff too, even though they're like unpractical bags, but like, that's the tea. It's art. It's, it's art. The person who created this, it's one of the Spice Girls actually, and her daughter helped create it. The anime that I drew in 6th grade. And then with Perez Holden, with his son, it's going back Yeah, Perez Hilton and his son. Perez yeah. Jr. Perez Jr. This is one of my favorite pieces in the gallery because of like the style. It reminds me of Death Note, which is done by a Japanese artist. This painting was really unique to me because it has Anche's teddy bear necklace, but um, like the name of the painting is buried. Like it has it, the words in the, the words of the name of the painting is actually buried. So she's like buried in stuffed animals. As well as it being like Anche's teddy bear necklace, the finger the fingernails, <laughs> the knuckles actually say love and an Anche. Anch always says, today's breakfast is tomorrow's necklace, today's, today's dinner is tomorrow's winner, and today's lunch is tomorrow's fashion statement. You can actually see that I like the painting on the left. <laughs> and she's having like reminiscence of the jewelry, like the, the meat. The, if you look at the top, the higher top of the painting, there's actually the dead bunnies next to the heart. And then it's lined with the teddy bears holding lollipops. And then at the very bottom of the corners, you do see the, the pearly whites. Uh, the lips, like the lips of the pearly whites. That emoji one is kind of, it's reminiscent of Dr. Seuss because apparently he like did his best work going through his depression, you know? And that's how I feel like this, this emoji one is betraying, you know, that's my interpretation of it. I would like to hear more about the, uh, the Jenna one, but I don't know much about it. <gasps> oh, there we go. It's, uh, it's the heart with the twist. But this, uh, necklace was actually worn by Nicki Minaj. She wore it at the VMAs. Anyways, Nicki Minaj wore this, and it's like, that's these are actually the pieces that she wore. She wore it. She, she like sweated on it, and then gave it back to Anj. And it's the chicken wing one. It looks so realistic, but apparently it's made from like high grade food quality, like plastic, something like that. 
<laughs> we, we actually discussed this, that Unch didn't want to put a real razor blade in it because if it broke and cut someone, then Unch would be responsible for that. Unch is inspired by Lady Gaga's neat dress. He made it like right after she wore it at the wow. VMAs. So it has her sweat on it? <laughs> yeah. This has her makeup on it. This came with her hair. Oh my god. So like, I think it's really interesting that Unch at the Sweet 16 has like, the, like a big collection of the famous jewelry that Unch has produced, like the headliners I would say. And of course like one of those headliners has to be uh, this My Little Pony one. It was actually the first collaboration that Unch was able to do with Hasbro. That hair is like, the actual My Little Pony pony hair. I like that the hair is really long. This Hello Kitty one was the, his first collab with Forever 21. It was actually uh, worn by a few celebrities too, I think. Yeah. And you can look it up on Unch's Instagram. And see look it up. They also have, like earrings and stuff that you can get. They had, actually have like little Unch pretzels. For Forever Did they? Yeah, yeah Forever oh. 21. This DOS house you know, I said, I, when we, the first time we saw it, I said, this looks like that new Fendi collection. But Das House was actually the first one to do this style of art. And it's not that he was the first to, yeah, he, he was literally the first to do this style of art. The person that, or the, the new Fendi collection was actually a collaboration with a man named Joshua Videz, Videz or Vides. I don't know, but he, Joshua started in 2017 with that art style. Das House started in that with that style in 2015. Like, it's a, it it is like smaller brand. I do think it is uh, Fendi stealing from like smaller or like a, a famous artist stealing from smaller brands like, or like a smaller artist. But that's that's what always happens. And then some like sometimes the art these artists can't do anything about it. I really like the Indie yeah. piece. It's definitely reminiscent of like the pink chicken wing. And then like, of course, Anche has like a golden version of it. But I really like that. It's in like, it looks like it's dipping sauce. Is that yeah, dipping sauce? No, it's milk. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Who puts their chicken wings in milk? <laughs> but, no, yeah, I like it. That was, that's like one of my favorites too. Cause it literally looks like a, a ceramic statue with gold. I really like this one to the left. Cause I mean, it's so many elements. Like you have like the emojis, you have the My Little Pony. I like the color of the one to the left because it's very pop. Me too. The one to the right is also really interesting. I think the specialty of the yeah. one to the right is like, they're really good at drawing animals. They're good at drawing animals and incorporated like- The elements. The elements of- Bunch of brand. Yeah. yeah. Those are like crushed macaroons if you- Oh, I didn't even notice that. It's like crushed macaroons and that like, one's a heart shape. Yeah, the detail is like immaculate. Mm -hmm. So this beetle painting obviously is very reminiscent of Anche's brand uh, because Anche originally came off those enamel pens that were designed as a beetle. I like this because it's a European artist and like her spin on what Anche has to do is very interesting. <laughs> the painting has like a lot of textures, a lot of textures yeah. and a lot of techniques mm -hmm. used to produce this painting. I like the one on the right, the lollipop with the shrimp. It's kind of cute. Also, the character is pretty cute too with the tattoos. The style of art is very unique, and like I just love the texture of the food. It's almost realistic. It has he has like the peas, the chicken wing, the steak, basically like everything that Anj is like trying to embody in like in fashion. This is this is one that me and Anj actually talked about. Um, because it has the rabbit with the heart with the arrow going through it. And that's one of the jewelry pieces that Anch does. And um, the, the person in the picture actually kind of looks like Anch with the hair swerving to the side. <laughs> the egg. He is like, he told me, he was like, oh, it's an egghead with a swoop. And then he's like, oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. I like the one on the right because like, it's all, it looks very Spanish or like it looks like Spanish art. There's a lot of little elements to it, like the all the faces in it. And it's if you look closely, it's actually like a man riding a creature. And first looking at Harold's, I was like, oh, color. But then I was like, wait, this is an abstract painting. Um, I just drew the conclusion that it was a pretzel. And it turns out that was like... It is a pretzel. It's a pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I thought it reminded me of like the Powerpuff Girls. Miss Paris Hilton's painting. So she was actually photographed for this and then she did all the individual sticking of like all the little stickers and like the jewels. notions. Mm -hmm. I like that she blinged out this entire canvas and just put her personality into it. And if you look at the bottom, those are her pets that she drew up and 
She put glitter on them and stuck them on. I believe that this piece is actually like one of the crown jewels of the gallery. It is, I, I think it is because it's like the last time he, uh, he said it was an auction and the last thing, the last price he, they were about to sell it for, or they are selling it for is 54,000. But it's all going to charity, it's not going to anyone, it's going to charity. Besides the headlining pieces that Anche's released, this is the crowning jewel of the gallery. The crowning jewel. The piece on the left is photographed lollipops. Just kind of cute. Look like beach balls. <laughs> high resolution, high gloss. High resolution, high gloss beach balls on a stick. This piece on the right is literally Anche's like a collection of everything that he's ever done, basically. You have the pearly whites, you have the pretzels, you have the chicken wing, the lollipop, the pizza, you have the tentacles, the peas, Hello Kitty, and then some of the, like the pills. It's just everything. I mean, even the Pikachu at the bottom, like that's... I didn't even notice that was yeah. Pikachu. Wow. Yeah. Like, Unch, Unch did a Pikachu collab. Wow. A little piece. A little piece for... A little Pika for piece. Like, Pika like, piece. I actually really like the painting from Luke because not only is it a but it's also like a little creature. Like he usually little... draws like bears. The piece on the right is actually like a person with Ancha's necklaces, like all of the, little, the Nicki Minaj thing. Like a meat Nicki bracelet. Minaj, yeah. I like I like this one because she's wearing like the little meat bracelet, but she's also wearing like a ring, which I think Jojo Siwa wore. Miss Jojo Siwa. But this one has a cherry on it. No, I like. I like everything. Like it's like the Nicki Minaj necklace. Yeah. It's like Nicki Minaj necklaces. That's what I like. So yeah, I and then the unicorn as well. I don't want Jojo Siwa. I wonder if that's a necklace too. The 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 unicorn. The Toki Doki. Yeah. Toki Doki. What was the name of the painting? It's called like. Uh, it's Magic Girls. I feel like it is like it does represent unity between like uh like two different cultures because it is a dark skin and a light skin girl. If you look closely at them, not only are their arms like crossed like this. But it actually makes a pretzel shape with their bodies. <laughs> you know. You're right. <laughs> so on the left is actually a really interesting painting. It's done by sand, completely out of sand. The one on the right, oh, is like one of my favorite. Like for me, I really like the pinup style of Bay Bad Girls art. Like I would get that tattooed honestly, because it's like sailor mermaid, you know. But she's also sweet and thick, you know. <laughs> People say it's cotton candy, but I'm pretty sure it's like more like head in the clouds, you know, day, a daydreaming. It's like all daydreaming references, I believe. So. Mm -hmm. But this one for the unches, Sweet 16 is cotton candy. This painting is actually the sister painting that Yoko did earlier in the gallery, which uh, you can see it's very similar but different. I like that she's writing on the cloud because the clouds are like one of my favorite things to see in paintings. Anch told us that it's like represented of a uh, KPP. Kiari Pamu Pamu. Yeah, Kiari Pamu Pamu. If she was turned into a creature, this would be her creature. Mess this messy desk painting is like one of my favorites because it reminds me of like how it's like its own world. That's why I like it and everything has eyes, you know. It's very, very, it's very tuned. Yeah, very tuned. Like, Cartoon and quiet at the same time. The eyes create motion, like it, it, like the eyes push your eyes around the canvas. And some of the elements that I really liked about the painting is that the the color like it would respond to black light pretty well. I think yeah, and I think you could do actually so many things with this. Like if it became an animated thing, like the eyes moving back and forth, and all the all the like the boats and all the vehicles and stuff, or not even vehicles. They're like all the elements just moving at the same time as the eyes. You know. Also, the the paint in the background is uh, like. Kind of a shimmery metallic paint. If you don't know who Malcolm Stewart is, like he's a he's also an art like he's a famous artist that like he does airbrush art, and this is one of the pieces that he did. It is like Sweet Escape Melts Away. Is that what it says? Yeah, the Sweet Escape Melts Away. That's actually the title of the painting. Oh, and if you look at like every ice cream, it's a different topping and a different flavor. But it's, yeah. it's kind of funny, like some of the faces that the ice cream is like looking at each other, like some look like they're enjoying it. They're like, oh, <laughs> sour. It's a self portrait <laughs> of the artist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With like an unch twist. Like, not like the pretzel twist, but like. An unch, <laughs> an unch influence. Yes. An unch <laughs> pretzel twist. Like but the, uh, the tattoo actually says something. I like it because it's like a. Melting. It's not even like melting. It's like a, or it's like a, a creature. It's not even like a, it's not like a stalactite. It looks like a creature to me, like trying to. This looks like the glue sticks like melted. Oh, for sure. 
You're right. You're right. Oh, that's so cute. This, this, the Dina statue, dog, little statue. It's actually the box opens and there's like a little puff inside. And it, it has, has a meat necklace. Yeah, it's <laughs> a meat necklace. I've seen this artist paintings before, and I really like. So it's so cute. Like I love the mouse and the snowman's face. Is it's just that's particularly style of that artist. I really like it because it's like a. It puts you in a different world, you know. Like it's in a forest, like the Candy Kingdom and Adventure Time. Like that's what it reminds me of. That's why I like about that that style of art, especially okay. since it's quiet. It's not really like, scary yeah. or anything. And with it being like sweets and stuff, it, like the dinosaur throne is in a bunch. What was this painting called on the right? So the one on the right is better together because it's chicken and waffles. And like this this painting actually makes me really hungry. Yeah. The, the whole gallery makes me hungry to be honest. But Yeah, we actually haven't eaten yet. It's like 11 a.m. Oh my god. <laughs> I love this like little, the little, like mouse. The, the little mouse with the mints. It's I, really cute. Like I love the color, like the color ombre and like the way it like, you know. It's, it's hands are red. It looks very Disney. But yeah, this is the entire gallery. I'm I'm the one recording. That's why it's a little shaky. Thank you for showing us around, giving us a personal tour. Oh my gosh, like we're so thankful for that. Thank you, Anch, so much. This is just, um, I would say this is a life-changing event as a designer. Thank you guys so much for coming. It really means a lot to me. This is such a special experience, and to meet you guys in person after being online friends for so long, it is such a treat. So, hope all of you out there are enjoying this video, and yeah. Thanks for that. I really appreciate it. Of course. That. And don't forget to click like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. As artists, and it was such an honor. Mm -hmm. It was such an honor. Thank you. Thank you.